This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can batch export several different files from different objects within a single Adobe Illustrator document. And a good example of this would be for logo design. So let's say you're designing a logo for somebody. These are all of the different variations for a logo you would want to send your client. So you would need to generate separate files for each one of these designs. Now let me just take this and pull this off of the artboard for now so you can see the white copies because it's blending into the back background there. Let me just move this off the screen over here like that. These are all of the files you would typically send to a client. You have the full color logo, the inverted color, and the monotone in both black and white. You have the full logo with the name, and you also have the icon as a standalone. Now, normally what you would have to do is take each one of these designs and paste them onto separate documents and save those documents individually, which can be quite tedious. But with Illustrator, there's something called batch export, uh, which I'm going to show you how to use, where you can take each of these files and export them as a, a variety of different formats in one shot. So let me show you how to do that. The first thing we want to do is just make sure we have each different graphic that we'd like to export group together. So if you click on these, you'll notice they're all individual objects. What I want to do is just click and drag over this entire logo and press Control G on the keyboard to group it together. Now when I click on it, it's recognized as a single grouping, a single object basically. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll click and drag over this, Control G. Same thing over here, click and drag over this, Control G. And then the same thing down here as well. These are just individual objects as they are, so I don't have to do that. So what I want to do now is I want to create individual artboards for each one of these objects. This right here is the main artboard. So I want to get rid of this and add new artboards around each of these objects. To do this, I'm going to grab the artboards tool, which is over here. Or what I like to do is I like to just press Shift and O on the keyboard. And what I will do is I will just click on the object there. You may have to click twice. And if you'll see, it added an artboard beneath the, uh, the graphic there. Now the artboard represents the border of the document. Okay, so we have this. This was previously the border of the document. Now we've now added a second segment to this document here. So I'm going to do this for each one of these designs. I'm going to add an artboard to each one of them. And then finally, what I, want to, what I want to do is get rid of this other artboard over here. So I'm going to click this X in the top right corner to get rid of that artboard. And we now have separate artboards for each one of our documents. Now, if we go back to the Select tool, what we can do is we can save this right now as a .ai file or an Adobe Illustrator file. And this right here should be good enough. You shouldn't need individual copies for each logo for an Illustrator file. But if you want to export like PNG with a transparent background, JPG, PDF, so on and so forth. What you could do now is go to File, Export, and go to Export for Screens. And you're going to get this menu right here with all of these different options. It's going to show you the graphic within each artboard here, along with the artboard name. And these names represent the file of the document you're going to export. So I'm going to change the names here. I'm going to change the name of this to uh, Logo Color. I'm going to change the name of this one to Logo Color Inverted. This one will be logo black. This one will be logo white. And then icon color. Icon black. And then icon white. Now if we come up here, you'll see some options. Export to. This is where you can choose the uh, folder that you would like to export these files to. So I'm going to click on this. I want to export this to its own folder titled Logos. Select Folder and that's the location where it's going to place it. And what you see down here is you're going to see some different options for all of the different formats you'd like to export. In fact, yours is probably not as filled up as mine is because I was just working with this, but you can add these in individually. So if you notice here, I'm going to be exporting all of these in a PNG format. And where it says Scale, make sure you have it set to 1x. Otherwise, it's going to export it at a, diff at a different size. So if you, if you choose 2x, it's going to export the document at double the size of what you originally have it. I don't want that. I made, that, I made these logos a specific size for the reason, so I want to maintain that size. I'm going to keep it at 1x. And the suffix, I would just keep that blank because that just adds, that's just going to add to the name here. So let's say you choose 2x and you see this suffix here. It's going to add the at 2x to the end of the file name here, which I don't like. I don't want that there. So I would recommend just erasing that, but it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. So I'll leave that right there. I'll add another format. The formats we have to choose from are PNG, 
JPG, SVG, and PDF. So I'm going to create one of each. I'm going to create a JPEG at 100%. I'm going to get rid of that suffix. I want to make sure we have this set at 1x. And now I'm going to add, I'm going to add uh, an SVG. SVG is a scalable vector graphic. It's kind of like an Illustrator file, only it's more, it has more versatility because it's not it's not a proprietary format of Adobe. You can open up this, you could open up an SVG with Inkscape or Coral Draw or any other vector graphics application and edit it the same way you would an Illustrator file. So I always like to export an SVG copy because it's very useful to have that. And then finally PDF, which is also another editable vector copy. And once you have all of the different formats you'd like, it's going to create one of these formats for each individual artboard. So I'm going to go ahead and click export artboard and it, it'll take a second or two to do its thing. And I'm now going to open up the folder where I exported that, which is over here. Let me change the view of that to large icons and you can see it exported all of those large, it exported all of those different graphics for each individual artboard. You see, I have the, the company logo there, PNG inverted. It has the transparent background. The, uh, the, gray, the gray background of the image viewer is showing through. And the same thing over here. If you click on, let's say if you click on this, a JPEG. Now, JPEG doesn't support transparent background, so it's going to make your background white by default. So that's something you may have to keep in mind when you're exporting white graphics. You may have to manually add a colored background to that particular artboard. But as you can see here, it works well for the black copy. I have the white background showing through. And so on and so forth. And we have these... SVG files. Like I said, you can edit this with Inkscape. That's a vector. You can edit this with Inkscape as well or Coral Draw, whatever vector software you'd like. And uh, I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can very easily take a bunch of different graphics and export them as separate files in a variety of formats all at once. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.